some baby ones coming up here. See, this is a huge piece of meat, smoked turkey leg. And instead of boiling this, what I'm going to do is wrap it tightly and put it in the oven and let it cook until it falls from the bone. and it goes. Okay, and you can see here that I did remove the stems from these because I'm sauteing them, so I want everything to be able to cook evenly at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up. This is the cabbage. I'm going to slice that and add that in also. cool off a little bit before I try and debone it because I don't want to burn myself and then um, we'll come back and add it to our green. The best thing about smoked turkey parts is that they are already fully seasoned. So you can either let this be all the seasonings that you add in your greens, or if you like it a little bit more seasoned, of course you would add in your own desired seasonings. This meat, if you were serving it by itself, this is already fully seasoned. And again, that's the best part, I think, about smoked meat. All right, in this pot, I have some olive oil, just a touch.
All right, this is the second batch here. And it looks like I'm going to have three batches to do this in. And sorry guys, but I am trying to listen to the information man at the same time that I'm cooking. And uh, that's what you hear in the background, so disregard. Okay, got a little cabbage mixed in with this last batch. to cover these because again I'm sauteing them not trying to form a liquid and these are almost ready and as you can see there's no liquid in the bottom so they're still doing pretty well doing pretty well we got the cabbage mixed in there with that is off the chain. You really don't even need to have the meat alongside these. These are pretty good standalone dish on their own. All right, I'm going to taste them and see if they are seasoned to my satisfaction. And if they are. Now this broth that I have, I'm not going to throw it away. I'm actually going to freeze this and use it, save it for another day to use. This is my broth that I'm going to save. You can see it's already trying to gel up, so this is going to really, really be good. I can save it. Takes the flavor up a notch. So if you have some red onion, put it in there. 